Hi, my name is Lee McDonough. Welcome to my lesson on the Los Lobos version of La Bamba. Uh, for this uh, lesson and for the performance you just heard, I was using my Fender Telecaster. Uh, it's been modified slightly. It's got a middle pickup added, um, although I'm actually blending the two outside pickups. Uh, the uh, neck pickup has been changed for a Damasio um, mini humbucker. I was playing that through a clean hot rod deluxe, no effects, and just a little bit of reverb. So the song is in the key of C, and it's based around three chords C, F, and G. The intro starts with a little walk up from a G note on the sixth string on the third fret, and the fifth string open. So the intro will be this one, two, three, and four, and one. After that, I'm going to play two strings here, the two middle strings, the fourth and the third. I've got my second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Then I play the fourth string open. Then I do a double stop here, second finger on the third fret, third finger on the fourth fret. So that's the third string and fourth string. Okay, so we get... Do that one more time. I'm going to use mostly downstrokes, by the way, for all of this intro. Then I'm going to go to another couple of double stops here. First fret of the second string, second fingers on the third string of the second fret. Then I play the same two strings open. So, so I'll do that from the beginning. Quick recap. One two, three, and four, and one more time, okay, next little bit of the intro, the third fret of the sixth string, third finger, fifth string, second fret, second finger, fourth string open, now double stops again. Second finger on the third string at the second fret, third finger is on the fourth string at the third fret. Play that double stop twice. We got. Then I'm going to put my second finger on the fourth string at the second fret. The third string is open, so I'm playing two strings. Followed by the fourth string open, so we got. Quick recap now from the beginning. Okay, then we're back to the fifth string of the third fret, C note, third finger. Fourth string, second finger on the second fret, playing the open third string. And the fourth string open. I'm going to form a little F, basic F shape here, triad. First finger on the second string, second finger on the third string, third finger on the fourth string of the third fret. So once I form that, I'm going to go hit the two middle strings, then the second and third twice, and then open second and third string. I'm going to back up a little bit to the sixth string, uh, walk up. So we got and to finish that I'm gonna hit a G chord. You can simplify that G chord because it comes in pretty quick. We can use uh, maybe just the second finger on the sixth string on the third fret and the third finger on the second string at the third fret. When I hit that I'm making sure the fifth string and the first string don't sound. You can jump to that a little bit quicker. So the last bit would be. Um, so the last bit would be this. I'll do it uh, again from that little F shape. So this is the whole intro, played nice and slow.
So for the rhythm guitar part on this song, um, you can just play an open C chord, uh, so something like this. I'm using an F bar chord and a G bar chord here, so we got... And I'm kind of keeping my strumming more to the lower strings, um, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can also sometimes put this little run in. And that's essentially all you really need for the rhythm part. Just play along and you'll figure that out, no problem. Let's move on to the uh, solo. Uh, the solo starts with some tremolo picking on an open third string, so G note. <laughs> Uh, to get that tremolo, it's not as hard as you might think. Um, basically, you just got to do small movements. It's more from the a little bit from the wrist and the fingers, but not from really from the elbow. Just rapidly going up and down. I guess if you figured it out, it's probably like playing the equivalent of sixteenth notes, so four notes per beat. I'm not really thinking like that. I'm just trying to lock in with some tremolo picking, so fast picking. So the tremolo picking will go on for three measures. And another beat after that. So I'll try and count and play at the same time. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So we stop on two. We'll do that one more time. So three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So we often start off with my lessons uh, with beginner students playing an open C major scale. That's what this solo uses uh, throughout it. It does extend it, it goes down to the low notes, so basically playing all the notes in the key of C major in this range. So that would start from the sixth string like this. Zero, one, three, then the fifth string. Zero, two, three. Zero, two, three on the fourth string. Zero, two on the second string. Zero, one, three on the second string, and then zero, one, three on the first string. So they're all the notes in C major in the open position. Okay, he also goes to the fifth fret, I think, at one point as well. So that's what the scale of the solo is based on. So the scale is used throughout the solo. Um, after the tremolo pick, and when we go to the single note lines, so we start on the third string, go zero, two, then the second string open, and then second string open again, but hammer on to the first fret, so we get this. Then the second string is open, third string at the second fret, second string open, back to the third string, zero, uh, two, zero, so we get this. So put that little phrase together. To the next measure, a hammer on on the third string at the second fret, third string open, so we get fourth string now, third fret, third string open, so I'll back up a tiny bit. Now fourth string, second fret, so I play the second fret to the third fret, third string open, and then the fourth string again, second fret. So I'll do the second little uh, bit here. So here's a quick recap after the tremolo picking. We've got the single note line here. Okay, next measure, we've got fourth string, three, zero, two, and the fifth string, three. Now the fourth string open. Fifth string on the second fret, so we got, I'll put that together. Now back to the, the solo on the fifth string. Pull off from three to two, and pick the fifth string open, so that measure I'll put together. Okay, now we're on the fifth string. 2nd fret, 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string open, and then the 6th string at the 1st fret, so that's 4 notes. Now from that note we're going to 
travel up the C major scale that I showed you before. So. All the way up to this F on the first string. So I'll do that again. Okay, after that scale run, we go back from that F note here to the third fret of the second string. Back to the first string, zero, one, three, zero, one. So. There's a quick recap then. So if we go from the beginning of the single note passages. stage now we're back to some tremolo pick and this is on the first string at the third fret this goes on for six beats so two three four one two and then on the third beat he kind of slides up so we got okay now more single notes this is all on the first string fifth fret so what I did there is place my third finger on the fifth fret and I picked it then I go to the third fret and do a hammer on pull off from the third to the fifth. Now I do another hammer on pull off from the first fret to the third, and then pull off to the open first string. So we get go back to some single notes. So first string, second string, third fret, first string open first fret of the second string. So I'll go from these little pull-off bits. Now, next measure. So second string at the third fret, third finger. First string open. Now second string. One, three. Hammer on pull off on the second string, first fret to the open string, second finger on the third string, second string open, third string open. So I'll play that slowly. So I'll go from just after the third fret tremolo picking. there now next measure third fret uh, sorry third string at the second fret pull off to the open string then fourth string at the third fret so you get then third string open now fourth string two three third string open two three again on fourth string so I'll put that measured again nice and slowly fourth string second fret pull off to the open string then fifth string third fret third string open so then the fourth string two three then the third string open so I'll stop there so let's do a quick recap again this is from just after the third fret tremolo picking play through that a few times. Now we're on to the last kind of tremolo bit. And what we're doing is all on the third string. We start off with a beat of tremolo on the open sixth string. Tremolo picking, or you can think of it as four sixteenth notes. Then what we're going to do is keep 
pumping a note up and down the string. So we get 5th fret, 7th fret, so I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's the 4th fret, now the 7th fret. I'll just recap, so 3rd string, 5, 7, Next measure, five, nine, seven, and then uh, nine, ten, just single notes, just picking those, like four and. So from the second half of this, from the fifth fret to the ninth. So from the beginning of this leg, five, Seven, four, seven, five, nine, seven, nine, ten. Now I'm going to slide to the twelfth fret. And one more time. So open third string to start. Go into the fifth fret. One, five, seven. By the way, all of that was using my first finger. So when we do this 9 10, with the first and second finger, this is on the third string still. We then slide up to the 12th fret, and then it continues to tremolo pick the, the 12th fret note G until the end of the solo. So we get. etc. So this is that last lick. I'll play all the way through now. Five, seven, four, seven, five, nine, seven, nine, ten, slide into twelve. So let's recap by playing the whole solo nice and slowly through. Uh, so this starts right from the beginning. Just nice and slow. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. Um, it's a fun song to play. Look out for more videos on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like and share. Have a great day. Thanks.